please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I'm out with the 50mm 1.8 on the Sony A7 III. And as we all know, the 50mm is the, if not the best, in my personal opinion, the best budget lens that you can buy. So, you know, about 150 quid you can pick them up for. Um, and it was the first lens that I got on the Sony. I'm just out for a quick POV this morning. I've got about an hour, hour and a half spare. So we're gonna go and attack the streets of Marleybone and see what we can find. Okay, we're going to see if we can get started here. We've got this nice like spire up there. So we're going to get down low, see if we can get the taxi in the foreground. Oh, that's quite nice. Nice little layered shot. I want to go over there because there's some nice lighting and the entrance to that building looks quite nice. Okay, so the framing that I like here is obviously of this, these lights. They're kind of cool and they, they look very good on camera. So I think the right hand side we're going to go for, we're going to come over here into the corner and face back towards the light and kind of have that in the right hand side of the frame and hopefully have like a subject on the left hand side then as they walk through just hold up in the ideal situation there i'd have someone going up the steps which would look quite nice but you get the idea of the shot um i actually quite like this one uh the one you can see on the screen um but yeah i'm just out i want to see if i can capture kind of london coming to life i haven't been out with the 50 in a while and i thought it nice you know nice easy going morning chill pov for you guys to like get going with one of the things i like about the 50 mil is how portable it is like it, and i'm not just saying like this whole setup is incredibly light it's super light easy to get about and uh, i've got the clip on my belt so i literally only have to do just clip this on my belt no bag nothing else nice and easy cool nice little framing the the reason i like that is because of the backlighting of the lights of the steps behind him that's really nice actually so i'm heading down uh, a place called chilton street because i love the red bricks like look look at the red buildings it looks insane um so i'm hoping i can get something along here uh, ideally i'd like it to be a little bit lighter um so maybe i'll double back around and come back here later but um here with some nice lighting would look sick let's get this shot of this dude here oh that's actually a really nice street shot because you've got a guy in the top left window as well Hey, what a shot, that's sick. Bit of a busy frame because I can't get far enough, far enough away, but. Really like that. I do like those, you know, those uh, defenders. And yes, I know they're not very eco friendly, but look at it. Do you reckon that looks sick? Look at that. It's really nice. Should we get a shot of it? And I very rarely just grab a shot of a car. And I actually think I'm going to be too close to get the shot I want to get. Oh, it's just nice. Like that with the red bricks. Whew. Let's have a look. See so if we can get down. I mean, I'll get a detailed shot of the front. 50 is not ideal in that situation. You can see the shot on the screen, but look at it. Blacked out back as well. So there's a nice little frame over here. I'm thinking subject walking across the street. Let's drop that ISO. Subject walking across the street with that kind of like building in the background. I don't know what that is. I should probably know what it is, but I don't. But I think that's probably the frame that I want. Let's do going across the road. Bit of a runny, runny guy going on. Let me get down a bit lower actually to get the shot. Sweet. Right, and I didn't get killed, which is also a bonus. Always a bonus when you don't get run over by a car. What this dude? What's he getting out? What's he getting out the back of his truck? Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look at the framing. We can push him to the left hand side, I reckon, of that frame. Yeah, we can make that work. She's kind of got the got the fruit store on the left. Yeah, I'm happy with uh, I'm happy with that frame. It's quite nice as he was like maneuvering the the trolley it just it's a nice little nice little lifetime lifestyle frame you know well i haven't been in the car in a while in my, in my good old tesla 
Um, but this has got to be some of the last uh, last leaves to fall here. So I thought I'd get. Why does that test look like it's so? It's riding really high. Sorry, a bit of an off note. Why is that so raised? Not being. I don't, I don't know if any of you. I don't know what you think, guys. That looks like it's really high up, doesn't it? Why is it so? It's weird. All right, well, we're gonna get a shot of the car <laughs> with the uh, the good old leaves on it. I think it looks quite cool. Oh, that's quite a nice frame, actually. Like that. I just love the leaves, really. If you get a nice detailed shot of the leaves, what can we get it on? Maybe the it would go front end like this. Ooh, tasty. Like that. Can we get any a shot of the one of the leaves? There we go. Nice little detail shot of the leaf. This this right here is I'm gonna be doing a video coming soon where I'm gonna head out and do a full car spotting POV photography. Um, so I'm gonna go out and see what the most expensive car I can shoot is in one day. I'm gonna give myself an entire day to go and do it. Um, good old North Borders is back in town soon. And I'm gonna see if he's up for the up for the video because obviously he likes cars. He might be up for it. He might not be. Get the shot. Maybe. Don't know if I got that. Rushed it a little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, got it in the bag. Red jacket number two is going to save me here. I mean, I spoke about this before, and I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a good shot because he's looking down the frame that I'm looking at. But I don't know what it is. Whenever you're stood at a frame and you're waiting to get the shot, whenever the shot comes available, somebody always walks in front of the shot that you're trying to get. And it's like up until that point, where that point wasn't, that the person wasn't available, there was no one. And it's like the universe is like, you know what? I see what you're trying to do here and it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's quite funny. I don't know what happens, but it happens. It's quite like this corner building here. Oh, if I had my wide angle, that would look really sick. Like 14 here, you get obviously the left side and the right side, front of the building, which would look sick. But on the good old 50, what we can do is get someone going in and out of the, of the, uh, the door. So we'll just wait. I mean, there's a bit of a congregation of people to the right hand side. So I'm going to move the frame slightly and have the door on the right hand side. Like that. I'm just going to wait for someone to walk in, really. I mean, he's not going into the shop, but definitely will do for a frame. Um, don't know about you guys. Don't know what time it is wherever you are, but it's definitely time for a uh, a coffee. So I'm going to go and grab a coffee. Um, I'm fairly happy with what I got so far. I'm going to get a coffee. We're going to do a little bit more, and then we'll go and have a look at the hashtag. Let's see what you guys have been shooting. I'll be going through some street stuff today. If you're wondering. That's where I'm going. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Hello. How are you? I need to get front. See you later. Good to see you. Slow, dude. Bye bye. Good to meet you. Hi there. Hey. Hey. Hello. It's normally the case, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day. What? Fucking hell. What? You are trying to make money on the road. No, I'm not. I'm walking across the fucking road. Okay, quick panning shot of this taxi here because I'm running out of battery. Okay, I think the backdrop of the nice buildings will look good. And I think we'll end it there. That's nice and sharp. I'm happy with that. Contrast between the cyclist and the background looks really sick. Let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. So overall, it was a productive morning going out and shooting. I mean, everything was done by 10. Um, that dude essentially was going too fast uh, towards a crossing. Um, so in the UK, we have a thing called a zebra crossing. It means that pedestrians get the right of way to cross the road. I was already on the road and basically he nearly ran into me. Anyway, it is what it is. 
We're gonna head over to the hashtag optical wonder and have a look through the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting. Obviously I was doing some street today, so we'll see what street shots we've got on the most recent. It is up to 214,000 posts now. It's going up like a thousand a day, which is just ridiculous. Um, so let's see what street shots are here. Uh, I'll do a little refresh and we're gonna go down. St. Paul's there looking lovely from JO Photos. And then we're gonna go down and we'll go with, that's a nice tram shot there uh, in Germany. And then we'll keep going down. Oh, that's a lovely set from Insta Chan. Oh, I love that, that's really nice. Love the, uh, the colors on it as well. And we'll go down a little bit more. Let's go with that umbrella shot. Hopefully, gonna go out and get some, that is a, that is, what is the ankle? Is this dude running for his life? Jeez. We're uh, hopefully gonna get some rain this week and I'm gonna head out and do a, a rainy POV. Um, some more rain in there as well from Liviu. Liviu? Potentially, sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, some street signs there, also known as traffic lights. Um, yeah, rainy POV this week, hopefully. Um, and then, like I mentioned in the video, hopefully going to go out and do like a, um, a car spotting POV potentially this week as well. But if not, I'll do it next week. I'm uploading every day. Plenty of time to do it. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog. Um, today I headed and picked up Mike, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, and then we've also got this one here from R no underscore JR. If you want to get featured on this channel, make sure you use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram and uh, I go through it at the end of every video and I am doing a video a day for December, so there's a chance that you could get featured on this channel. Uh, I do have presets down in the description, £10 for 114 if you'd like to buy them, they're down there. If you don't, then, then don't buy them. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, what, what yellow jacket should I wear today?